In this video, we are going to learn about XS3 subtract. How to perform subtraction on XS3 numbers? We have to consider two cases here. If two XS3 numbers are subtracted, difference will become general binary number. So, for example, if you see here, 4 minus 1 will get 3 base 10. In XS3, 4 is 7 and 1 is 4. So, 7 minus 4 we are doing and uh, normal 2's complement subtraction like we are going to perform. So, if you perform subtraction like that, we will get 7 as it is I am taking here. 2's complement value of 0, 1, 0, 0 is 1, 1, 0, 0. So, when we add these two numbers, we are getting 1, double, 0, double, 1 which is 3 in base 10 as carry is discarded in 2's complement subtraction. But we are supposed to get 6 as x is 3 for 3. So, when you are subtract, 3 is 6 in x is 3. So, we are supposed to get x, uh, 6, but we are getting 1, double, 0, double, 1. So, what we are doing is, we are supposed to add 3 to the result if carry is there. So, we can say if no borrow is required there because we are performing subtraction. But discard the carry in the result. So, in this case, 1, double, 0, double, 1 will add 3 to double zero double one so we'll get six and this one will be discarded as we discard the carry in the two's complement subtraction and another case if we consider six minus ten that is negative answer if we want to uh, consider six minus seven we are considering that is minus one we are supposed to get in x is three six is uh, nine one double zero one seven it is ten that is one zero one zero so, 9 minus 10 is 9 plus 0, double 1, 0. Two's complement of 1, 0, 1, 0 is 0, double 1, 0. So, we are getting 4 ones. But we are supposed to get double 1, double 0, which is minus 1 in excess 3. So, 1 in excess 3 is 4. So, two's complement of 4 is double 1, double 0. So, we are supposed to get double 1, double 0, but we are getting double 1, double 1. So, we need to subtract 3 from the result if no carry, that is if borrow is required. If no carry, we say that borrow is required. If carry is there, we say that borrow is not required. Using this analysis, we are going to draw the circuit in this part. Now, if we see the circuit, first number is considered as x3, x2, x1, x0. Second number, we are supposed to take the 2's complement value. First, we are going to get the 1's complement that is y3, y2, y1, y0 are given as one of the inputs to the XOR gate and another input is given as logic 1. So, we will get y3 bar, y2 bar, y1 bar, y0 bar here. So, C0 that is C input is 1 here. So, what happens? We will get x plus y bar plus 1. So, here we will perform binary subtraction on XS3 numbers. So, if carry C4 is equal to 1, what happens? We will get 0, 0, 1, 1. So, if carry is there, we are adding 3 to the result. If no carry is there, then we are subtracting 3. So, if C4 is 0, what happens? This is 1, 1, 0, 1. So, subtracting 3. 13 is 2's complement value of 3. So, 13 is minus 3 here. So, we add 13 to the result. We will get the final result of your XS3 number. So, here C input of second number also is... Uh, 0 and C4 will not be used anytime. So, in this uh, so in this fashion we will perform XS3 subtractor. Now, if we want to combine XS3 addition and subtraction, here we can see this is the complete circuit for performing both XS3 adder and subtractor. Previously, we have given XS3 adder and uh, we have just now seen XS3 subtractor also. So, if mode equal to 0, we say that it performs as addition and if mode equal to 1, it performs as subtraction. So, we will see now how it is. So, if mode equal to 0, so this will become y3, y2, y1, y0. That is, excess or outputs will be y3, y2, y1, y0. So, addition will be performed and here uh, C4, if it is equal to 1, then we will have adding 3 that is, if carry adding 3, if no carry we will have to subtract 3 and here if C4 is equal to 1, we will get 
output of this AND gate to be 1 because mode equal to 0. And here we will have output of this NOT gate as 1. So, output of this AND gate will become C4. So, in the case of addition, we know that we will be having result uh, digit 1 and result digit 0. Now, if we want to perform subtraction, mode will have to become 1. So, if we say mode is 1, C naught will become 1. So, we will say one of the input for XOR gates is 1. So, we will get Y3 bar, Y2 bar, Y1 bar, Y0 bar as an inputs of uh, this adder. So, we will have X plus Y bar plus 1 as inputs for adder. So, we will perform subtraction. And here, if mode equal to 1, then what happens is the output of this AND gate will become 0 irrespective of the values of C4. So, result is it 1 will not be considered in the case of subtraction as we have just now seen. And result is at 0 only will be considered. And if C4 is uh, 1, we will have uh, 0, 0, 1, 1 that is uh, adding 3 to the result. And if C4 is equal to 0 then we will have 1 1 0 1 that is subtracting 3 from the result. So, this is how both the accessory addition and subtraction can be combined into a single circuit. Thank you.